What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. This is going to be the Mazed and Confused tutorial uh, episode. I'm going to tell you and show you absolutely everything that you need to know about this game. To start off, this is your main hall. This is where everybody keeps their collectibles and we keep score for everything that's going on. A full game is the first person to 10 sets wins. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to come down here, pick your spot, put a diamond block in the barrel, and collect the things from the barrel. And I will get into what are in the barrels right now. When you open your barrel, you're going to find three different things. Your lodestone compass, your barrel bills, which will get you your special coins, and then your keys to get into the maze, which are my custom heads that I produced myself. Uh, do not duplicate these. You will be disqualified if you do. When you are ready to attempt a run, go ahead and head to the front door. When you do get here, you will see a duplicate of my head. For the one you do have in your pocket, go ahead and throw on the black square and run in the doors as fast as you can. So the first thing that you are going to do when you get into this room is take everything out of your inventory and put into one of these two barrels. Then you are going to set your spawn. It is very important that you take everything out of your inventory because if you do lose it in the maze, I am not responsible for the loss. Going over the rules, rule number one, turn your mini map off. That's very important. Number two, do not kill any of my mobs. It took me an extremely long time to get all of these guys down there. Number three, Absolutely no armor and no weapon. You need absolutely nothing on you except for your barrel bills and your compass. Also, you only get one coin per barrel, so it is fair for everybody. There is six chances to get six different coins, including the one special coin that your lodestone brings you to. And once you leave, your run is completely over where you will collect your collectibles at the very end. And the next most important thing, you will use your lodestone compass to lead you through the maze to a specific hidden area. Uh, when you do get to that area, you are going to drop your compass on the ground. A hopper will pick it up and it will produce a special emerald block that will pop out of the ground and you will save till the very end. We will get to that in just a second. And right here we can watch Seaman run around and drop the compass multiple times, but it doesn't get picked up by the hoppers underneath because it needs to be dropped in a specific spot. And once it is, it will pop out the emerald block that you need to save. Now on to your barrel bills. These are designed to be put into specific barrels hidden around the maze. There are some that are completely empty and there are some that have stuff in it. Remember, only put one in per barrel and move on to the next one. As we can see, Seaman comes into here, he pops open the barrel, puts it in. You can't see it pop up because he was standing in the right spot, but he has his coin and he moves on. This is the entrance to your maze, but be wary when you go inside that you have multiple mobs and hidden traps. You are going to hear a heartbeat that will progressively get longer with time. I have not set that up quite yet, but enjoy your run. So when you do finish your run and you find your way out to the exit, you're going to make sure that you do grab all of your stuff from the barrels before you proceed into this room. Uh, you can go back in if you do forget. I know some people are going to forget. That's fine. Uh, make sure you do turn off the heartbeat. When you do get to this point, you are going to take your items that you did collect in the maze and put them in their respectable barrels. Uh, they are marked of picture frames above them. Uh, you can put in multiple ones at a time and it will spit out multiple collectibles depending on how many you put in is the amount that you're going to get back. When you are done with that, you are going to head to your game board where you are going to put your collectibles. You only can collect three different types of sets at one time. No overflow, any extras that you have, just throw into the barrel and I will collect on a daily basis. I wish you luck. I hope you have fun. I want to hear what you guys think about it, but until the next level, which will come soon, I will see you guys later. Thanks.